Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be looking at some of the world's biggest and most impressive machines. Make sure to stick around to see cranes picking up cranes. First up, we have the Sleipner E550 transportation system. It is designed to transport large size excavators on mining sites. When these units are attached to the chains of a crawling crane, it functions similarly to rolling skate shoes. Then, to transport the machine, support is provided by placing its bucket arm in the trailer. Moreover, the Sleipnar E550 is 100% effective and saves 85% of the time and 50% of transportation costs. You're now watching the DB120, which is a trailer-based transport system. It is designed to carry massive bulldozers and drilling equipment weighing up to 120 tons, as well as excavators weighing up to 90 tons. With a tilting bed and high clearance, the DB120 enables on-site transit rates of up to 30 km per hour, increasing operating flexibility and reducing the need for undercarriage repairs. In short, with the Sleipnar DB120, transportation of heavy crawlers is a matter of minutes. Heavy-duty transport trailers often have more than 30 tires. However, having more tires causes problems such as the equalization system failing, tire scrape during turning, and variable retardation due to multiple brakes. The SW450's innovative swing wheel technology solves all of these problems, allowing the load platform to be lowered to the ground with little operator intervention. Because of this, even without the use of an extra ramp, a single person can complete the whole loading procedure within just 10 minutes. It saves both time and money. Up next, we have a Caterpillar water tank that is sitting on a cargo system developed by NHH. Typically, such large cargo needs road inspections before transportation. In certain countries, permission from the government is also required since the weight of the immense load may cause damage to roads and bridges. It is also necessary because the size of the cargo may cause a block for other traffic. However, in Australia, transporters can easily transport the superload as their highways often remain vacant.
Up next, we have a low loader from Panther Series 2. It is designed to carry large equipment weighing in excess of 100 tons. The unit's back is equipped with a hydraulic system. This assists in reducing the trailer's height to the ground and raising it when loaded. It can be fixed at any height level using a remote operator. This gives a high ground clearance when moving. The 797F mining truck assembly is the lowest cost per ton in its size, with gross power coming in at 2,983 kilowatts, a 175 millimeter bore, 220 millimeter stroke, with a high altitude, low maintenance ratio. An engine configuration option for 4x4 is readily available. Its nominal rated payload is 364 tons and has a chassis weight of 215,000 kilograms. For finer control, wet disc oil-cooled four-corner service brakes are fitted into it. Belaz brings you the highest payload capacity on the entire globe. They have a groundbreaking collection of mining dump trucks, cross-country dump trucks, loaders, bulldozers, and vehicles for metallurgical works. Mining vehicles have been made to perfection as they deliver peak performance in all areas. At the same time, there are also vehicles designed for particular purposes, such as cement mixers, electric carts, and compactors they deliver on their promise of quality and performance. Liebherr's fine collection of machinery includes mining equipment, earth moving equipment, material handling equipment, concrete technology, and maritime cranes. Other heavy hitting machinery includes piling and drilling rigs, mobile and crawler cranes, tower cranes, aerospace, and transportation systems. In a nutshell, Liebherr is the solution to all of your infrastructural needs that arise, giving you the best assistance possible.
In this clip, you will see the assembly process of the Liber T264, which is an ultra mining truck belonging to the 240 ton size class. In 2014, the T264 was brought to Expomin from the US Liber factory. A team of 10 technicians and engineers worked for 12 days to complete the truck assembly. The T264 has a high power 2013 kilowatt engine with an efficient Litronic AC drive system. You can run this 176 ton beast at 55 kilometers an hour. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Large machine companies such as Liebherr participate in exhibitions to attract consumers, the press, and the public. This clip gives you an inside view of Ajan, where people are eagerly waiting to watch Liebherr's seven high cranes. Firstly, they demonstrate the power of a Liebherr by lifting a small crane with a larger one. After that, they showed how cranes could easily balance even with heavy weights. Finally, they raised a 764-ton crane that held another crane in the air. The Tezmec Rock Hog is considered to be the ultimate solution for a wide range of applications. It can operate more cost effectively than a range of other types of excavators. It does not damage road surfaces like other excavators would. You can reuse the unfractured rock excavated by Tezmec Rock Hog. It offers a reduced number of machines, increases efficiency, safety, and costs for maneuvering and servicing. The Epiroc Mobile Miner 55V is a tunneling machine designed for tunnel extension. It has a 17-inch disc cutter that can be moved vertically or horizontally as needed. 
Unlike blasting or other methods, continuous mining by this machine gives you better progress predictability. The mobile miner also handles the excavated material. Some of its impressive features include laser navigation, remote monitoring and control, and automatic rock cutting. The steel industry was in dire need of a special trailer that could handle 900 degree hot steel slabs. After much effort, the well-known company Kamag succeeded in making it. However, the slab trailer needed a ride for going to its work. The TTI group stepped in with its two intercombine trailers to help. These trailers have the functionality of both a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. When necessary, these can function in both ways. The load weighed 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4. They finally delivered it to the Heilbronn Harbor after crossing a 269 kilometer long path with many ups and downs. Stacker reclaimer machines are used at mining sites to dig out mineral deposits at a massive level. Here is the 15th part of a reclaimer machine, which is the largest, weighing 208 tons. Bolor Logistics took the responsibility to give a damage-free and safe delivery. The total distance was only 7 kilometers, but because of several hurdles, this took 8 months. There were three railway lines on the way, and for that, Bolor Logistics used one of the finest mobile bridge systems available. It took two years to reach all parts of the machine at the assembly point. Crawling systems are widely used in machines, including war tanks, to give the best stability even on rough terrains like snow or mud. However, the crawling units can't run so fast. They often damage the road while moving. That is why low loaders are used for the transportation of crawlers. This low loader by Sleepnare is pretty special. Because of hydraulic units, you can vary the level of its height. With a deployable ramp, it can set your crawling machine for transport within two minutes. The remarkable thing about self-propelled modular trailers, or SPMTs, is that each of their axles can be controlled separately by a remote. This functionality makes it easy for drivers to monitor the trailer from all angles, and move in different directions. This SPMT has 22 axles, and on each axle there are 8 wheels connected. The carried excavator is heading to the mining site. SPMTs tend to run much slower than other types of trailers, so these are only used for the transportation of superloads.
Sometimes the size of a load causes more complications than the weight, but when you have to carry up to 200 tons of load across a narrow public area, transportation becomes even more dangerous. In 2013, such a situation occurred when Felbermayr came to Romania with eight steel giants. Each weighed 245 tons. There were hurdles like plants and trees on both sides of the road. A slight twitch could cause a severe accident, but the attentive and experienced team of Felbermayr successfully delivered to the port of Constanta without even a scratch. The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. You are now looking at the transportation of a giant airport bridge structure. It is 200 meters long and weighs 5,100 tons. Mamoet had to relocate it only 3.5 kilometers away. Needing to keep it 14.3 meters high made the challenge extremely difficult. At such an altitude, a slight pull due to air could end the journey in an accident. Mamoet used 264 SPMT axle lines in a way that almost worked like four legs. It took nearly 10 days to complete. The SCC-40,000A is a super-large tonnage crawler crane built by Saini Limited. It is also the largest tonnage crawler crane in service in the world. Built for construction needs, it has a maximum lifting capacity of 4,000 tons and a load rating of 90,000 ton meters. This crane holds more than 20 patents. It has a super-lift counterweight trolley with double crawlers. Its walking system is made up of four crawlers and a grand total of eight drives. Recently, this monster achieved another milestone by lifting up a 1,500-ton single load. It was a complete propylene tower erected for a rubber factory. You're now looking at the Liebherr LR13000, the world's most powerful conventional crawler crane. The major purpose of developing this beast was to move extremely heavy weights. This monster is often required at the construction site of power plants and in refineries as well, where industrial columns weighing 1,500 tons and measuring 100 meters in length have to be erected. Can you imagine? With each weighing 70 tons, this gigantic crane can be transported at a low cost throughout the world, despite its large size. Along with all this, the LR13000 is the only crawler crane that can also operate without a derrick ballast in its class.
Next up, we have another world record holding crawler crane, the XGC 88000. This mighty machine has made a successful debut by lifting and placing a 2,000 ton washing tower vessel. The crane lifted and positioned the upper half of the tower to allow it to be welded to the bottom half at the height of 50 meters and with less than 20 millimeters allowance between the two sections. This beast boasts three pioneering technologies, six world leading technologies and more than 80 national patents. Its total hauling capacity is 4,000 tons and has a 120 meter long boom. The Tarek CC8800-1 Twin comes with a lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. The machine stands 234 meters tall with a 156 meter long boom. It is equipped with four hoist winches, a boom derrick with two winches, a boom hoist, a luffing jib with two winches, and a slewing mechanism. All rope drums have hydraulically released multi-disc and non-wearing hydraulic braking for load lowering. Rope ends of all drums are provided with quick connect rope end fittings. The booms and jibs can be combined to create three different working configurations. The Komatsu Gen 3 L2350 is a wheel loader with an operating capacity of 72,574 kg and can center load haulage trucks with payload ratings ranging from 320 to 400 plus tons. It is the most powerful and productive wheel loader in its class, which is designed to meet global mining requirements. With the integrated SR hybrid drive system, the lowest possible fuel consumption levels are now possible. This beautifully crafted beast is well suited for blending applications and ideally works for operations with frequent equipment relocations or moves during blasting cycles. It's a masterpiece, no doubt. The Liebherr R9800 blends versatility and productivity to satisfy the operator's needs, since this Liebherr mining excavator comes with a 2,984 kilowatt diesel engine. At the same time, an electric drive variant is also available. 
The T264 or T284 mining truck pairing with the R9800 offers a cost-effective, highly efficient mining option for large-scale mining operations. This backhoe machine can accommodate any load up to 800 tons without any effort. On the other side, the face shovel can withstand any payload of up to 810 tons. The CAT 7495 is a high-performance electric mining shovel made in two models. The 7495HR is a hard rock version, and the 7495HF is a high-float version used where low ground pressure is needed, such as oil sand excavation. Both models' shovels are capable of extracting 100 tons of material at a time and can load large mining trailers in two to three passes. The dipper capacity ranges from 27 to 61 cubic meters. This monstrous hydraulic shovel is a masterpiece made by CAT. It takes power from a 3,023 horsepower diesel engine, which delivers reliable power and torque, making the 6090 FS both agile and productive. Combining their low fuel consumption with a sophisticated hydraulic system, the excellent fuel efficiency of the CAT 6060 directly leads to lowering the cost per ton or cubic meter driven. Faster lifting speeds are reached because the structure requires smaller diameter boom cylinders to be used. In short, it's an engineering marvel. These large dozers take power from an 1150 horsepower or 860 kilowatt engine and weigh at around 157 tons in its super dozer version. The machine itself is stunning as it is 16 feet tall, 41 feet long and built with a 24 foot wide dozer blade. It is massive and capable of handling 125 cubic yards of material in one pass. Clearly, it'll move any amount of material needed.
The Mezzo Loco Track LT220D Mobile Crusher incorporates a cone crusher with a screen on the same chassis. It is usually used as a secondary or tertiary crushing plant in a multi-stage crushing process to produce up to three calibrated end products. The lightweight design makes it simple to transport between sites. Both the crusher and the projector operate on a single cat C13 diesel engine. Full power is made available to the crusher using hydraulic power transmission, resulting in decreased fuel consumption and operational costs. Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel-powered variants. A great many of you have probably seen this monster before, the Model 18,000 of Mammut. This is one of the world's largest construction cranes. Here, two SPTs have come to take it. SPT stands for self-propelled trailers. These are used for super load transportation. You can see how they are connecting these two trailers. Each trailer can be synchronized with another so that the operator could drive both at once. This remarkable feature allows transporters to use them with the best suitable configurations. The Model 18,000 couldn't only carry a load of 700 tons, but also weighs hundreds of tons itself. It has a 600 horsepower engine and the boom is 320 feet high. Now they're ready to go. This responsibility is also assigned to SPTs because they always keep the load in balance. The Bagger 288 is a versatile excavator that digs tons of mines in no time at all. A German company, Krupp, built this beast. They designed it for the energy and mining firm Rheinbronn. When its construction was completed in 1978, the Bagger 288 set a new world record, the world's heaviest land vehicle. Can you imagine? It weighs a total of 13,500 tons. It took over five years to design and manufacture, and another five years to assemble, with the combined cost reaching $100 million. The Big Bud 747 is the largest custom-made farm tractor ever built anywhere. This beast is capable of farming three acres per minute. It is about twice the size of many of the largest production tractors in the world. The Big Bud is 27 feet long, 25 feet wide, and 14 feet high, and it holds 1,000 gallons of fuel. Moreover, it weighs more than 135,000 pounds when fully ballasted. The parent company of this truck has also built its standard and even small version. Adapted from a 1950s style, this giant pickup truck was the biggest ever made. It has four air-conditioned suites, a lounge room and a kitchen, with a motorized tailgate and drops down to become a terrace. Billionaire Sheikh Hamad in the UAE commissioned this monstrosity. The specially enlarged pickup truck is eight times bigger than its equivalent and weighs more than 50 tons. It comes complete with a full kitchen, air-conditioned suites, a toilet, and a lounge with all new facilities and a patio area in the rear.
This next machine is something a lot of you have been asking for a while. The Big Muskie is an enormously big dragline excavator owned by the Central Ohio Coal Company. It weighs 12,200 tons and is almost 22 floors tall. With a 220 cubic yard bucket, it was once the most enormous single bucket digging machine ever created. Not just that, but this beast also holds a record of the world's largest mobile earth moving machine. This bucket alone could hold two Greyhound buses side by side. It took over 200,000 working hours to construct over a period of about two years and cost $25 million in 1969, the equivalent of $174 million today, adjusted for inflation. The F-60 is a series designation of five overburdened conveyor bridges used in brown coal open cast mining. They were built in Lochhammer and are the world's most massive movable technical industrial machines. As overburdened conveyor bridges, they transport the overburden which lies over the coal seam. The cutting height is 60 meters, hence the name F-60. In operating conditions, it weighs 13,600 metric tons, making the F-60 also one of the heaviest land vehicles ever made beaten only by the Banger 293, which is a giant bucket wheel excavator. At the beginning of World War II, the Nazi leader Adolf Hitler called for the development of a modern weapon capable of shattering the French Maginot Line. The new gun was a 12 meter high, 47 meter long weapon, weighing 1,350 tons, which fired 10 ton shells down a 30 meter long shaft. 22 people might sit on the barrel of this rifle. This great gun was known as the Great Gustav. There are many rumors about it, but many sources state that the great weapon was captured and disassembled by the Russians. This aircraft is known as the Antonov AN-225. To be the Americans, Soviet engineers built it in the dying days of the Cold War as a gigantic gravity-defying workhorse that would support the East's dominance of the skies. However, now they are using it just for commercial purposes. Since 2002, it has carried food, military equipment, oil and gas machinery, and relief supplies worldwide. It takes power from six turbofan engines and is the heaviest aircraft ever built with a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. It also has the largest wingspan of any aircraft in operational service.
Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. What did you think of these technologies? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content.